Good morning. So today I'm actually really excited because for the first time in months, we can get out of the house for a reason other than grocery shopping or work. And we're allowed to travel to other parts of regional Victoria. Since uh, our last little trip, the case numbers of coronavirus spiked in Victoria. And so we went back into really harsh or strict lockdowns. Um, but case numbers are back down almost to nothing and that means we can travel again. So the plan for today is that we are going to head down to an area called Halls Gap and explore the beautiful region of the Grampians here in Victoria. Goodbye to you beautiful darlings. Mwah. Hey. And goodbye to the beautiful Callie. Auntie Georgie's going to take very good care of you. Hey. Mwah. <laughs> See you. So our first stop on the way down to Halls Gap is a place called the Bonjil Shelter and it is one of the many sites around the Grampians regions um, that hosts indigenous artwork or rock painting um, and apparently the Grampians has 86% of Victorians indigenous artwork which I had no idea about and this is one of five um, sites that are open out of about 200 um, for people to view so it's a pretty special place and we're going to go have a little bit of a look. So Banjil is a creator spirit that is often depicted as an eagle and he is known for bringing the world and creation into existence. And apparently this is the only known uh, rock painting or artwork of him, which makes this one of the most culturally significant um, places in southeastern Australia. The biggest thing about looking at artwork like that is just thinking how incredibly old that is. So no one knows for sure exactly how long that piece of artwork has been there, but in likelihood it could be tens of thousands of years old. It's just so incredible and so significant. Um, it's really just beautiful. So we're just on our way down to our second stop of the day, which is Mackenzie's Falls, um, which is 20 k's just through Falls Gap. but those falls are absolutely beautiful. We're getting a little bit of spray right now. They're absolutely gorgeous and it's such a beautiful day. So, 
I'm not sure if you can hear me over the roar of falls, but it is a perfect sunny day and well worth a little bit of a walk to come down and look at those falls because they are just spectacular. And now we have to hike back up those stairs and uh, head back to the car. These stairs coming back up, man, they're a killer. So at least getting a good workout in as well. We're packing in one more waterfall on that same track coming back up um, from Mackenzie Falls. Uh, there's a little lookout for Baroka Falls as well. And again, it's pretty beautiful. Well worth the extra sort of couple of hundred meters walk. So Halls Gap where we're staying is a small town. There's only about 400 people that live here. But one of the things it's really known for is its wildlife. So if you're lucky, you'll see kangaroos, koalas, emus, echidnas. But the one thing you're pretty certain of is that you can see roos in droves here. We just passed the local footy oval and they're all just hanging out, lying on the ground um, in their groups. And they're just so gorgeous. So we are staying at the Dolk or the Down Under Log Cabins, um, which is a really beautiful little peaceful spot here in Halls Gap. Um, and so far the cabin looks absolutely beautiful and it's just really nice and really quiet. And it's going to be nice to spend a couple of nights here. Okay. 